I know what you're thinking. Why do I seek self-destruction? Well, mine is a familiar story. Perhaps you'd like to hear it. In the beginning, there was no indication that my life would be fraught with tragedy. My days were peaceful and sheltered. My time generously idled away on pleasantries of no consequence. Until Flora entered my life. The moment her haunting eyes met mine, I was overwhelmed. My emotions burned their way to my brain, where they detonated the instinct that had been lying dormant within me. I rushed toward her. Something seemed to hold me back. Insanely, I approached her again. No binds could hold me this time. Wistfully, she awaited my approach. Nearer, and yet nearer, I plunged. Finally, we met. I realized then that Flora was unlike anyone I had ever met. Behind her enigmatic smile was a vicious, cold, cruel nature. I knew Flora was a perilous acquaintance, but I couldn't resist her. So I, I contrived a more subtle approach. By appealing to her feminine tastes, I lured her to me. Yoo-hoo! At last, my moment of triumph. I poised, and then... <laughs> I could ignore the truth no longer. Flora was shunning me. Withdrawing to the isolation of my library, I brooded for days. Of only one thing was I certain. Flora had made a deep impression on me. What was the answer to my dilemma? Did the solution lie in the use of force? Obviously not. In subterfuge? Hardly. Flattery? Friendship? Friendship! Friendship, perfect! The idea was startling by its very simplicity. Post haste, I bolted for what I felt certain would be the culmination of my conquest. My ruse had succeeded. I had won her confidence with a show of friendship. I proposed a rendezvous for Flora and I. Dinner, cocktails, and revenge. Seizing the first opportunity, I flavored her brandy with a deadly potion. One sip and Flora, too, would taste the bitter dregs of despair. My moment of triumph had arrived. But she foiled me again. I became a derelict. Aimlessly, I trickled through the gutters of the big city. I felt like a dog. But my spirit revived at the sight of a familiar figure. Certainly, here was a friend of the downtrodden. Gratefully, I thawed my soul with the warmth of his abundant heart. <laughs> Scorned by all, I felt I could go on no further and resign myself to an ignominious death. But then, then I was recalled from the shadow of eternity by carolers who bespoke of goodwill toward men. Perhaps I thought, Flora too might be injected with a yuletide spirit and would repent her attitude toward me. It was my last 
vestige of hope. I found that Flora had soared to a position of wealth and luxury, which only humiliated my miserable soul more. Summoning my last spark of courage, I rang the bell. Humbly, I begged that Flora would receive me. Would she? Was I to have another chance? Was I? And that is my story. Not very pretty, is it? And so, farewell. No, I won't. I won't. I will not give her the satisfaction. We can men and I have pieced together their shattered lives. So shall I. I'll succeed. I'll succeed whatever the road I take. Be it back from whence I came. Or onward to new horizons.